Real quick, as you guys probably see what's been going on here in Florida, especially with this weather, they been having a lot of rain, a lot of things have been flooded, running out of gas. Uh, it's just insanity. I'm gonna roll some footage so you can see what I'm talking about. Tonight, a massive cleanup after unprecedented flooding. Rescuers have to use boats to access Fort Lauderdale's hardest hit neighborhoods, bringing people and pets to safety after a night surrounded by floodwaters. I'm gonna go back and get your mommy and daddy, all right, bud? We had a huge amount of volunteers coming in with their swamp buggies and high water vehicles, which has been a huge help. Some people waded through the water with boxes wrapped in plastic, trying to keep their belongings dry. Others described having to climb out of windows. I couldn't open the door because the water was too much pressure on the door. More more rain fell in a 24-hour period than any other day in the city's history, nearly 26 inches. That's more than 40 percent of Fort Lauderdale's annual rainfall in just one day. No city could have planned for this. The result was flooded streets littered with abandoned cars. The water's weight is believed to have contributed to a roof collapse at this shopping center. No one was injured. And the main runway at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport remains mostly submerged today, forcing operations to shut down. Nature wasn't kind to us, and that's just unfortunate. We have never had to deal with such an item. We're not going to be working in these conditions. Not only are iguanas not going to be out, but the conditions are extremely hazardous going out there doing stuff like that. So anyways, we went to some areas and we decided to do a little fishing. That's the whole thing we've been doing the last couple of days, just resting up. Uh, catching up whenever we can with some friends and families, do a little fishing, see if we can get lucky, catch some big fish. Anyways, this is a pretty crazy video. We were out there in the elements. Uh, we went fishing. I linked up with my brother, some friends, got fish, uh, caught some, lost some, you know, was happy, it was heartbroken. So a lot of crazy stuff happened in this video. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. It's your friend Raj Dave Wanna Man. Alright guys, this is insane. Look at this, the canal has overflown into the street. Welcome to Florida, y'all. Home of iguanas. Yo, Come on, dude. I'm not going in that thing. <laughs> yeah. No. Fuck it's right there. The we need like a, you guys got a long pole? No, we got a long pole. All right, let's go to the other fishing spot, y'all. That's crazy. Look at this. We're fishing, and we're fishing. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> it's a whirlpool in front of my house, bro. Yo, it's insane. I love it. It's pretty good. I mean, I think it's worthy money. I know it's worthy money. Not think. I know so. We're in the kitchen right now. We're gonna chop up some conks. Maybe we might go troll line in the back, see what kind of fish is out there. But it's the rainy day special here in Florida. Storm season is among us. Check this out, we got two chicken and white rice and some nice, what, pigeon peas? Lentil? Mm. We got some breezy weather here in Florida. What do you think, Roddy? Yeah. No, for all y'all that don't know, Florida, one of the most craziest natural disasters out here, man. One minute it could, it could be sunny, next minute a tornado could be raging down the street. Yeah, yeah. thunderstorms. Never know. Some nice conks that we got from the store. Ooh. <laughs> that onion is making, making me cry a little bit. <laughs> we got some nice conks, though, from the Turks and Caicos. They sell them at the store here, and then right here we got a little bit of... A little bit of cowboy steak. So mind you, this is just the day before all that rain comes. So me and my bro are just bro, in the back, right old talking, fishing bait, right? a little bit. Snake is right here. Oh, go, 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 go. Yep. Oh, go. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, are you rolling? Yeah. Did you see that? Oh my God, he came up on top water and clapped it. He's gonna come back. Oh, oh he, he just, need, he need it. on, oh. on, on, oh. on. Oh my God, it's a good one. On. Oh, he's off. Bro, your tackle is ass. Oh, 
Lord, no. He came off. He didn't break the line. <laughs> He'll come back. Monster snakeheads, guys. We didn't get it. <laughs> These snakeheads are bigger than the average ones you normally see. <laughs> We're in like a very private, secluded area. Mangroves everywhere. <laughs> Turtles, bait fish, you name it. These fish are growing above the regular size. Yeah, after that it started coming down. And I have no idea why, but we decided to go fishing. It is coming down right now. Alright, watch out for my pool. Yep. Yeah, you guys come out of here. We're getting right, yo. drained on right now. But we got one. Blood. Look at that right there. Nice snook. Fresh very, water. Very nice snook. I this is yeah. I don't even know. Like, look how much water just flooding everywhere. Yo, we got to get out of here, dude. <laughs> look at this guy. Yo. Now, for all those that thought it was a joke. Bruh. Wait, is this even fishable? Oh, shit. Yeah, it is fishable. It is fishable. I'm a fish. Jeez, there's one is right there, too. Right on, on that tree bar. This is just ridiculous, dude. That is insane. That's incredible. Let's get a couple oh, casts, right? Yeah. Guys, there's so many tadpoles right here. This is insane. All right, we just got eight, guys. We just got eight on top water. I don't know if I got that on film, probably not. Just served them. Yep. Got a little pee. Came and splashed it right on the top. He's off. He's off. I'm off. Jig. Yep. Uh, okay. They're trying not to. I'm on, Roddy. Oh! Shit. <laughs> it's a pee. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, a peacock. We got him. You guys eat him or what do you do with Nah. Oh, that's a, that's a different kind of peacock. I've never seen that with the hump on your fucking head, bro. Yeah, no. It's a male, right? Yeah. Oh, the males have the hump on their head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see the pattern on it, right? Mm hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. And he went like. Look at the color right here on top. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very, very nice. Damn, it's like that awkward teal blue. Does that always happen though? Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice snook right here, boys. Nice. As soon as he said, let's go back, that's it. The snook just took flight. Get a good grip on him. We're not going to go anywhere. Oh, he's off the hook. Oh, oh, he's off the hook. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all seen it right there. We bagged a bridge monster. They're hanging out by the pylons. Another snook? Yeah. Yo, you're on fire, dude. I think that NLBN is, is definitely working, bro. Bro, they love this swing bait right there. So I'm not getting nothing on my one. Yeah? Nah. Switch up to the MLB and I got plenty. Say less, bro. <laughs> nice. There we go. Spillway snook, boys. 
Look at, look at the eye on it though. Super big eye. Oh, see why that uh, the anal fin right here, this spine right here? Yeah. It's a different species of snook. And it has big that spine, spine right in the back. there. Yeah. Normal snook don't have that spine. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. We're looking for the mama. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, he's back on. <laughs> Another snook. Right there, yo. Yo. Another snook. You can tell the difference. If they need it, it's crushing it right yo, now. Yo, getting it done. And as you see, look at the background. Spillway. Get it to the Amazon. It's a peacock bass. So we got a shiner. He's right along the thing. As soon as you drop it, bro, don't, like, don't even come back to the video. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh my goodness. I got him. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I got him. There we go. Make sure that hook is in. I told you, just called it, yo. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Guys, I think this might be another crazy species that we have out here. If only he, we can keep him pinned. Awesome. Yeah. Keep him pinned. Oh, keep him pinned. Oh. It's a nice one. No, dude. All right, we gotta make a makeshift poncho. The only reason I'm doing this is because the rain is cold. I'm gonna tear a hole in here for my head. One right here on the side. That's my head. Let's see, my arms. Yeah, my arms can be right here. Boom. Get a shot of me, get a shot. Look, I got my poncho, dude. <laughs> yeah, here, boy. Yeah. Oh, let's go. No, he's not that big. He's not the big one. Oh, there's another big one. There's two. No, there's a bigger one. Hold on. Hold on. It's not the. Made it to Amazon. He caught that. Gonna rig up a nice live shiner for him. See if we can catch him real quick. Oh, oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. He's right there in the corner. You about to eat it on top water. Oh. Got him. Oh, Got him. Gosh. Got him right there. Let me go. Got him. Hold on. This is energy. Got him. Oh, this drawing crafted. Awesome. Wait, he still did. He still didn't even realize he's hooked yet. Yeah, I know. He's so big. Hold on, we got him. Oh, there he don't goes. Lose, don't lose him now. All right, let's get him up. Let's don't get him up. Now. Hey, Booker, come on. Oh, all right, no, no. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah. get him. Hold on. It's a big fish, dude. We're going to yeah. flip him right over right. Oh, look. We got him. There he is. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, here. he's going to eat it instantly. Oh, he just ate it. He just ate it. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me go. Big fish energy. Oh, let's go. He clapped it. Lose him. Don't lose him now. Don't lose him now. Hey, Hooper, come on. Oh, all right. Never mind. Go ahead. There you go. We go. We go. Oh. <laughs> Talk about a river monster. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yes, guys. Guys, this is what we came out for the storm for. Well, one of the fish that we're looking for, guys, a giant thing. These this. don't, you don't nearly see them this big here in Florida. This is like an Amazon species right here. This is probably about like a $200 fish right here, dude. Easily. As a pet, you know? Yeah. It's like a $200 fish right there. Just got tape measure in my pocket, too. Wow. Let's, let's get a little measurement on this fish right now. This fish is, uh, uh 19. 21, basically 20, 21. People travel all over the world to catch a, a fish like this. We just caught him out here in the canals of South Florida. Already, big boys. 
that's the one right there. All the wildlife is out today. That's a nice one. Pulled into the spot, we noticed there were some iguanas, so we decided to try to harvest them. Hey, and for all those that are wondering, iguanas are actually really tasty. They're herbivores and they love feeding on Florida flowers. Oh, right here is where I get the biggest bite, but man, you just gotta see the footage and see what happens. Heartbreaking. Fish on, fish on, fish on, tarpon, I got him, I got him, <laughs> yep, I got him, we got a tarpon on boys, we got a tarp, yep, alright, you're good. big white fish over there, right? Oh, oh my god, he's in the Alright, right, guys, that was insane. Um, as you guys see, we hooked up to a giant tarpon and we, we got a bite on it. Unfortunately, we should have caught him right here. You saw the bridge. He just ran he went in between the pylon and just made a, a yep. sharp left, and that was it. And that was it. That's the big tarpon, though. Really big tarpon. Uh, a guy kind of broke right here. I gotta get that fixed, but hey. Happens, right? Yeah, let's go out there and retire now. Let's get up. That was a big fish, though, dude. Holy smokes! I told you we're gonna get smoked too. First cast. I told you. I was like, yo, you watch, you get hit first cast. All right, guys. I just got smoked. There's another tarpon down there. Roddy's gonna have a second chance. Get all that bait. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice, Rock. Bring him in. Nice stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. Here we go, boys. That's how you do it. Bro, these snook and tarpon are crushing underneath this bridge like left and right, man. We're in the prime time areas and we're catching big, big snooks out here. And the bridge, y'all. Epic, bro. That's a good If you guys are new, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm gonna go for the tarpon. I'm gonna send this one on its way. Phew! There's some blows, guys. And there's more. Look, I'm about to get tight again. Ready? Watch this. There he is. Is that tarpon? Oh. Tarpon. Oh, bring him right to land. Yep, bring him right to land. Oh, it's a tarpon, right? Come on, buddy. Yeah, let him jump on land. Oh. Right here. Come on. Oh. Come on. Let's go. We've got the DOA bait buster right here. Really good lure for you to catch a tarpon. Cast I cast it underneath the bridge. And this nice baby juvenile tarpon just smoked it. Smoked yeah. it. He's going to go crazy right now. Here we go, guys. Ready? There we go. Woo! Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's get the bridge in the background. Yeah. Yeah, guys, excellent right here. This is one of the apex predators that we came out here looking for. These are saltwater fish. Here in Florida, we call them the silver kings, guys. They're busting underneath the bridge, snook and tarpon, all juvenile, even some big ones out there. And I just literally second cast. First cast, I got hooked up. He missed it. Second cast came back around. Slowed it up a little bit, mm -hmm. and he absolutely demolished it right there, guys. Yeah, just let him breathe guys. a little bit. We want to take a better look and show you guys. And that's Ooh. how they get their name right there, guys. The Silver King. What an oh, amazing fish. Amazing fish. That was wild, man. Uh, that was a 
pretty looking back at it and I you know I don't know I don't, honestly don't know what I was thinking we had the fish pinned exactly where I wanted him but for whatever reason I, I foolishly decided to go closer to the bridge losing my leverage giving him a chance to run get into that pylon and ultimately just end the fight right there so that was a huge huge mistake um, next time I go out there I'm definitely gonna be prepared to hook into big fish I'm gonna up the gear up a little bit and also you know obviously try to be on my a game but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned because we have a second part of the series coming up next episode, next couple days. And basically, you guys are going to see how we turn things around and catch some pretty big stuff, right? Iguanas, fish, the whole nine. Um, we meet up with some more friends. We have some more fun. So like, comment, and subscribe if you're new.